Welcome to Tech Tips from Teachers. On this episode, we'll be looking at student tool apps. Our guest today is Kyle Brumbaugh from San Jose, California. Kyle's been in education for 25 years and is currently the Director of Educational Innovation and Information Services at a large Bay Area high school. He also recently co-authored a book on classroom technology. Kyle, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me here at Google Town. How are you seeing technology affecting learning for students and teachers in the classroom today? Well, it's just really as expanded over the last few years. Um, technology and the number of technologies that are available for students and teachers has just exploded really in the last three to four years even. Um, teachers now have access and students have access to a variety of re resources that they never had access to before. Um, really, the libraries of the world and all the information of the world is accessible to them at their fingertips right at their desks. Very cool. And if we're thinking specifically about those student actions like studying and note taking, how is technology playing a, a part in those? Well, there's so many apps right now that really allow students to leverage their study or to make their study more effective. Some of the apps with flashcards or ways to quiz themselves or teachers to provide quizzes as formative assessments so that the teachers can gauge where the students are at and the students can gauge themselves where they're at so they know really how to focus their study on what the things they need to learn for that next test that they may take in class. For student tool applications, it's important that developers prioritize a few key things. It's crucial that these apps can be used anytime and anywhere. It's important that they're highly customizable and allow students to collaborate with one another as well. Why is it so important that these apps can be used in a variety of places, variety of circumstances, variety of times? Well, you want to extend the learning outside of the classroom. One of the benefits of having students with technologies is that they can now use those technologies anytime, any place. So I start to think of now that student who was maybe learning something in a biology class now has the opportunity to, on their way home on the bus, open their phone and go through a series of flashcards that now will deepen their learning from what they learned in class. Also, at a high school level, one of the big things that happens to a lot of students is they miss some class because of athletic events or some other extracurricular activities. Now, while they're on the way traveling to some of these extracurricular activities, they can actually study what they've been learning in class or what they missed in class because the teacher can provide that content to them in a digital format that really wasn't accessible just a few years before. Definitely. And then what about that customization piece? Why is that something that's so important for these sorts of tools? Well, the customization piece is really important because it actually targets the learning. It takes the student and really allows the student to assess themselves or the teacher to assess what the student knows. And so the teacher and or the student can target what they really don't understand and spend the time learning those skills and then bringing them into the whole so they really have an entire picture of what the learning uh, goals are and what the learning uh, outcomes should be. Very cool. Okay, and then on that collaboration piece, I feel like that's something that is sort of a buzzword these days in mm -hmm. education. Why is that something that's so important to integrate into apps? Well, collaboration is huge because you want to allow students to work together because that's what they're gonna do in the work world. When they leave school, they need to be able to collaborate with their peers. They need to be able to work as part of a team. These apps allow students to work as part of a team, and because of that, they learn some socialization skills, they learn how to divvy up the work or how to separate out the work, but then bring it back to a whole so that everybody has the same level of understanding. Teachers can manage that process by assigning different roles to different students, but at the same time or at the end when they have a culminating project, the teacher can now assess the group as a whole and really be able to parse out, which was one of the negative things with collaborative learning in the past was that teachers really couldn't suss out which student had done what. Now, because of the way the tools are structured, teachers can really kind of look at what students have done as part of the collective and then what students know individually and not just what the group project presents out to the entire class. Let's take a look at some exemplar student tool applications. Kyle, first up, um, Quizlet. Why is that such a strong student tool? Well, Quizlet really gives students and teachers the opportunity to create that anytime, anyplace learning. So a student could start off in a classroom using Quizlet on a tablet and then transition from using that tablet to their phone out in the quad on the way home. Virtually any place they want to use that application, they can. Teachers can actually set up some listening skills and some vocabulary just using the auditory components of Quizlet. 
Also Quizlet allows teachers to create quizzes using images so that it can be more of a sight recognition type of tool. So there's plenty of different things that they can do in Quizlet. And what about Papyrus? What makes it such a great app for the classroom? So one of the things with Papyrus is, is that it's really customizable in that you can go through and you can change the colors, you can change the pressure, you can change the thickness. It really is responsive to the touch of the student using the application, which is unique. The other things that you can do with Papyrus is that you can bring in content from other places. For example, you could actually take a picture with your phone or your tablet bring it into Papyrus and mark it up or annotate it. And then what about with StudyBlue? What makes it such a valuable tool for students? So, so first of all, StudyBlue has a wealth of information. They have over 250,000 decks that users or teachers can pull from to really say, I want my students to learn about this. But the other piece with StudyBlue that really makes it effective is that ability for students to collaborate, to create decks collaboratively and that they can now share those decks back and forth with each other and then share those actually back with the teacher so the teacher can really say if these students really think these are the most important things I really need to make sure that I hit those things in class. So there you have it. For student tool applications it's important that they can be used anywhere and anytime, that they're highly customizable and that they allow for collaboration among students. For more episodes check out the Google Developers YouTube channel. Kyle thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Tim. Thanks.